Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a rolled hem on your overlocker. The rolled hem is a really simple technique where you get this beautiful covered edge and it's great for slippery fabrics or fabrics which are more difficult to handle or you can use it on anything. I've just used it on this viscose uh, EcoViro crepe and it's given me this really beautiful hot pink rolled edge. All you need to do is change a few of the settings on your machine. It's really not too difficult to do at all. So first of all, I'm going to change the stitch length and I'm going to change this to the R setting. So R for rolled hem. That's going to make the stitch really short. The next thing I'm going to do is to tighten the tension on my lower looper. And this is what's going to cause the edge of the fabric to roll so that it's going to pull the thread really tight, wrapping that edge and making the upper looper thread wrap over further around the edge. So tighten up the lower looper tension. I'm going to bring that up to six. You might want to go higher, but I find on this model that six is high enough. On some machines, you might have a switch which, where you can go from a standard setting to rolled hem and you just flick the switch over and that does this for you. So instead of tightening the tension here, just flick your standard setting to rolled hem setting. The third thing to do is to make the stitch really, really narrow. And to do that, you might have a cutting width dial, which can help. But the biggest difference is going to be in adjusting the width of the stitch. So I already have just one needle in place. I'm using the right needle. I've taken out the left needle. But what I also need to do is to remove the stitch finger. And the stitch finger is this very small little kind of prong device inside here. And you can see I've got a switch from S to R. So I need to just slide this pink lever from S to R. To do this on this machine, I have to first move the knife and then push the cutting blade, lower cutting blade out of the way so I can then slide this stitch finger out of the way. So you see, there's the stitch finger in place and there's the stitch finger moved out of the way. Don't forget to put the knife back in position before you start. On other machines, you might just simply be able to slide this switch in and to move the stitch finger out of the way. Or there might be something here which allows you just to pull the stitch finger out of your machine altogether. Check your manual to see how to do that. The other thing that I've done on this type of stitch is I'm using a special type of thread and this is a woolly nylon and this is going to give me a really good coverage over the edge of the fabric. So this is kind of uh, a little bit fluffy and textured. So sometimes it's called bulk 80, sometimes it's sold as woolly nylon. You can also buy woolly polyester, but it will all do the same kind of thing. So it's going to give me much more coverage over the edge of my fabric. Those are all the settings you need to change. And once that's done, just feed your fabric through the machine and you'll get this beautiful effect.